In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everybody. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, protect of those who hope in you. Without you, nothing has firm foundation. Nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that we, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those things that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail. For a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Among the nation's idols, is there any that gives rain? Or can the mere heavens send showers? Is it not you alone, O Lord, our God, to whom we look? You alone have done all these things. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus dismissed the crowd and went into the house. His disciples approached him and said, Explain to all the parable of the weed in the field. He said in reply, He who sowed the good seed is the Son of Man. And the field is the world, and the good seed, the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sow them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. Just as weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out of his kingdom all who cause others to sin and all evildoers, and they will throw them into the fairy furnace. 
where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. I think I'm talking to human beings now. Um, we have to realize one thing. We are more of complaining than doing. We are more of complaining than doing. The world has changed. Nothing is good again. Everything is bad in the world. Everything is, I can't understand what is happening in the world again. There are a lot of confusion, a lot of hatred, a lot of anger, a lot of, we complain. What do we do? What do you do? What am I doing to make a world a better place? It's not about complaining. It's about doing. Complaining doesn't change anything. The gospel message of today reminds you and I that there exists the good and the bad. There are two seeds, the weed and the wheat. Which one are you sowing? Each one of us has in their hands the good and the bad. What are you giving to the world? What are you doing in the world? What are you putting in your family? What are you sowing? Which seed are you sowing? If we sow the good seed, the world will be a better place. In every department, in every institution, there are good and bad. In every family, there are good and bad. Even in our own life, in my own life, I have good and bad. In your own life, you have good and bad. Which one are you feeding? Which one are you feeding? That's the message of today. If you and I decide to make this world a better place, the first thing we need to do is to change ourselves. That change you want in the world has to start with you. That thing you, have to, you are complaining about has to start with you. We need to make a world a better place. All of us need to work hard. I remind you again, as I remind all the time, only one person can make a change. Only one person can make a change, and that person is you and I. We should not shift it to the next generation. We should not blame the, the generation behind us. It is we who can make the world a better place. So today, the gospel reading is reminding us, in you, there is something good. In you, there is something bad. In the world, there is something good. There is something bad. But we are the one planting it. We are the one doing it. Let's start with our language. What language that comes from your mouth? Is your language, does your language build people or do your language destroy people? Does your language encourage people or do your language discourage people? Do you plant love or do you plant hatred? That's what God is asking you and I today. As I told you the other time, my journey as a priest starts with the, well, a priest, my pastor. In Nigeria, my mom enrolled me as an altar server at the age of eight years. The first mass I served that was changed my life and made me who I am today. At the end of the mass, despite the mistake I made, but that was the first time I served mass, the priest told me, the priest did not look at my mistake. The priest was looking at my effort and told me, oh, Kyrian. You served very well. Come and have breakfast with me. A little boy having a breakfast with a priest. Do you know what it means to me? And I called my mom. Mom, the priest wants us to have a breakfast. And went there for the first time in my life. I, the priest gave me cutlass, fork and knife. I have never used fork and knife before. Eating it was a problem. So I said, can I use my, my hands? He said, you are free. And the priest, before we started eating, the priest asked me, can you pray? Because my mom taught me how to say prayer before meal. So I, I said the prayer. And after said the prayer, the priest told me, you prayed wonderfully. You can be a priest. 
That word, you can be a priest, entered into, into my life and gave me joy and gave me aspiration. And I, told, I came back and told my dad, I want to be a priest. He said, why? Father William said, I can be a priest. Do you know that your language can change somebody? Do you know that your language can destroy somebody? Do you know how powerful the words that come from your mouth is? How do we use them? Do we use it to build? We complain that the world is full of hatred. What comes from your mouth? Does it build people? Does it encourage people? Does it give you boldness? So today God is calling us that we need a change in the world. We need to make the world a better place. And that change comes not from anybody, but from you and I. Start with yourself. That change you want in the world, start it with yourself. Make a difference. Make a difference in your life. Make a difference in your family. Make a difference in the place you are doing your work. Make a difference in the society. Don't follow others. Do the right thing. Follow the right thing. If others are online, be online. The other day, somebody passed red light. And the person at my back was honing me to pass. I said, no, no, I'm not passing. On the tongue green. Because I know the right thing. And I need to do the right thing. So what is God telling us today? You know the right thing. Do the right thing. Make a world a better place. The change you are looking for in the world has to start with you and I. And may God give us the strength to sow good seed and never sow a weed. Because when you sow the weed, it destroys. It destroys the world. It makes the world the worst place to be. But we are the children of light. We need to make the world a better place to be. Uniting our voices together as one, let us lift our prayers to God. For the church as it carries forth its mission to build God's kingdom, may Christ the sower guide its holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of our elected officials, may God bring them to new awareness of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who suffer from hunger and thirst, may God's mercy and compassion show forth through the generosity of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who tend to the land so as to yield abundant fruit, may God's presence be with them as they provide for all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have passed away from this life, may God draw them to himself for eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Our Mass today is being offered for the intentions of Teresa Sankey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all those intentions held in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Uh, prayer for vocations. Lord of, Lord the, of harvest, the harvest, we petition, we petition you, you as, as you have instructed us, us to, to ask for more laborers to save in the VA division. You have told us that the harvest is rich and laborers are few. few. And, and we experience this great need in the face of the challenge of new evangelization. We ask the Holy Spirit to inspire young men and women to seriously consider vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Help all of us to be effective instruments to encourage and support those whom you are calling to serve and lead the church of Brooklyn and Queens in the future. Lord, you told the apostles to put that into the deep. We ask for the grace and courage to accept your call as we pray and work for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, the great high priest. Amen. Loving Father, we bring our prayer before you and ask that we hear and answer them according to your holy will through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness that this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands are made, come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness are this wine to offer fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. Come for us as spiritual grain. Heavenly Father, may all receive from this altar, may they receive life. Wash me from my sins and purify me, Lord, from my iniquities. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at their hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, this most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just as during that salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, for making eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess we live in faith. And it's coming in glory, we await with our ever in hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with that end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, let you fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the well and into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you are dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you shall spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Nicholas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
We may marry to be quiet and then alive. I may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, I inform by divine teaching with that to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give all this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with her will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but those say the world, my soul shall live.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us for love beyond all failing may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Have a beautiful day.